Hi everyone, welcome. It's me, Sarah, here with the Enosburg Public Library, and today, for our STEAM, we are going to do something simple and fun, and I feel like it's always a necessity to do. I haven't done it in a very long time, so what we, let me move my chair out of the way, we are going to make pumpkin Play-Doh. So, we're not going to use actual pumpkins to make the Play-Doh. When I first looked at the um, website, I, assumed, I was like, oh my god, can I use the guts from the pumpkin? No, it's just a good old pumpkin spice. So what you guys are going to need is two cups of flour, a half a cup of salt, one cup of hot water, possibly a half a cup more as you go on. You're going to need two tablespoons of cooking oil, two tablespoons of cream of tartar, and food coloring. So, the first thing we are going to need to do, I have one bowl. It looks like all I do need is one bowl. So, grab yourself a bowl. Here's a measuring cup, tablespoon. I have um, some olive oil. Also, I saw in a recipe, this is optional if you want to, add um, some glycerin. Two three drops I forgot I think it was three drops of glycerin and we need our food coloring so you're gonna need red and yellow and that makes orange so we are gonna need that because we are gonna be making our play-doh orange um and cream tartar so I was looking up a way where you don't have to necessarily cook it on the stove because I remember when Stella was a baby, I used to always make Play-Doh, and I kind of forgot. I was like, I don't necessarily remember making this on the stove, so I was looking for other recipes, and what you really need is you just kind of need some hot water. And um, if what I've learned that it actually lasts longer when you do it that way instead of cooking it on the stove. I don't know why, but that's how it goes. So I think... Because the heat doesn't get too activated in it. Alright, I think that's a good angle, right? Alright, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to combine all the dry ingredients. So I'm going to open up the flour. And we're going to scoop. This is one of my favorite things to make, besides slime, <laughs> which we will be making at some point again, because that too has also been a while. All right, the next thing we're going to need to do is get our cream of tartar, and we're going to need two tablespoons of that. to dump it all out at one time because it would be mean. And two. That is enough of that. And it doesn't. Salt. Salt. I knew I was missing something. And we're gonna add a half a cup of salt. Where did I put my cup of salt? So we're gonna fill this halfway because this is a full cup. Okay, I'm gonna take this little spoon and mix it all up together. Then, 
then we are going to form a well in the center. So, that for me, well, we're just going to do that. And then we're going to add the cooking oil and the food coloring. So, we need two tablespoons of cooking oil. Four drops of that. I'm going to do three drops of the red just in case. And now we're going to add our water. So I got myself some hot water ready to go. One cup. I made two just in case I was going to need more. The recipe says um, another half cup just in case. I'm going to use a fork because it's easier to mix up with. Now that all that stuff is pretty much cooped in, I'm going to use my hands. And as you go on, you might need to add a little bit more flour. You might need to add a little bit more um, water. From this, I feel like I definitely need some more flour. Because look how gloopy that is. So I'm going to grab a little bit more. There we go. And make sure you knead it really good. I think a little bit more flour. You don't want to add too much because you don't want it to get too dry too fast. But this seems to be absolutely perfect now. This is so much fun. <laughs> Look at that. I think I'm going to add a little bit more um, of the flour because it's just a tad bit sticky. There we go. And this is a super fun easy project i absolutely love this and to do this with the kids is always so much fun so make sure you get them knee deep in the play-doh and have fun with it um yeah obviously it snowed so it's probably not an outside project so maybe clear up the kitchen counter and get it nice I'll put some paper towels down or newspapers so you don't get too messy or you know just go for it I think like I don't need any more and then I end up do needing some more flour but this is how I got it orange I could have added some more red to it to make it uh, pop out a little bit more but this is our look how much this makes this is only what, two cups of flour and a cup of water? That's crazy. 
and you can have oh so much fun with it. You can tear it apart, make your own little pumpkin. Boop, boop. I don't know if that really looks like a pumpkin. But it's got a smiley face. <laughs> and there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, make sure to send me pictures of how your Play-Doh came out. I am going to save this and have fun for sure. Show me your sculptures too if you make anything out of it. If you make a pumpkin or you make animals or you do the good old-fashioned worm. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I will see you on Friday and Saturday. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend as well and had a really great Halloween. I'm so glad it's over. I'm going to miss it. But until next year, now we have to worry about, not worry, we have to look forward to Thanksgiving. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Thank you.